Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're having a good time with your family and friends. In today's session on Azure, I'm here to talk about application security group and how you can implement this to secure your network. So if you've been following the track in the last session, I showed you what are the steps involved and uh, configured network security group. And the focus today will be on ASG. So in simple term, ASG allows you to logically group your virtual machine based on the application that you're running on it. And it is a feature that allows you to take an application centric approach and you can do this within the network security group. So in order to test this, I've already have some environments. So as you can see this on the diagram, I have a virtual network with the name TDVNet. In this, I have two subnet with the name web subnet and DB subnet in which I have a machine with the name WS and database respectively. WS has a private IP of .0.4, it has RDP allowed, and database has a, a private IP of .1.4 in which the RDP is de uh, denied. And what we are trying to achieve is we want to use the application security group to uh, enable the RDP. So we want to take the RDP on the database subnet uh, from, the, from, the web, uh, from the web server. That is what we are trying to achieve. So actually, let me show and go to the portal. So these are the two machine I have. I have the web server. It has a public IP and you can see the private IP. If I go to the networking tab, the RDP is allowed on this. And if I go to the database server, there is no public IP on this. If I go to the networking, you can see that there's no RDP allowed on this machine. And actually, I have initiated the RDP session on my web server. So if I go and show you, I am on my web server. So the RDP is initiated on this. We'll come back to this. So let's go to the portal. And what we will be doing is to create an application security group. So we'll create actually right here. So we'll create an application security group for each of them. And uh, we'll name it database ASG and WS ASG respectively. So let's do that. So I'm going to application security group, which I've already under the favorite. Go and click on add. Pick the resource group, I have only one, and name it. Okay, so the first application security group is created and we'll create the second one now. Okay, so as you can see, both the ASGs are in place now. So what we're gonna do after this is let's go and associate the database ASG with the database machine. So let me go to my virtual machine, expand to my database server under networking. I have this application security group and you can see configure the application security group. And this, I will associate this with my machine and click on the save button. Okay, so that was done successfully. So what we'll be doing is we'll create an inbound port rule. So let's go to that and add one. In this, I can put the source any. Under the source port range, I will put to, actually under the source, I'll pick the application security group. Under the source application security group, I'll pick the one from web server. 
because that is where I want the RDP session from. The source port range can be any. Under the destination, I'll pick the application security group. And in this case, the application security group will be the one which is database ASG, the one that we just created. The destination port range is 3389. And I want the action to be allowed. And the port range or the name actually, I can put allow RDP from web server you can also give the description and click on add okay so the rule was created successfully let me just refresh the page okay so you can see that has been added the port the protocol the sources my web server sg the destination is database sg and the action is allowed and the port number is 3389. So let me go to my web server with which I already have the RDP session. And let me see if I'm able to connect to it. And remember the IP, private IP of my machine, of my database server is 192.168.1.4. And let me try to connect. Okay. Provide the credentials. Say yes. And let me just try to access that machine. Everything seems to be working fine. Let me just confirm once that machine is in. Okay, welcome back. So my machine is up. And uh, let me see that uh, it is the same machine or not. So I'm just going to go and open the command prompt. Oops. And you can see that uh, I'm on the database server. So this shows how we can use application security group. In this case, we have uh, enabled the ASGs on both the machines and have access the RDP session on the database server from the web, from the web server. And gives you an idea about how we can use ASGs in our environment. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.